That's you fast tracking everything. If you're not hiring me for a job, why am I answering to you what I bring to the table? Either you're gonna take why your time. Not, when you either you're gonna take your time to get to know me and figure out what I, I what it is that so, I bring. So it's yeah. the audacity of asking so, the question so that's so a problem. problem. Anybody Louis. that can't answer this question, male or female, confident. Turn this shit off. Uh, they, hey, Turn up. hey, they heard this shit. He was like a uh, old boy off of uh. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. On Fulton and Gray. It's, it really was like the delivery with her answer, how she answered. Like, why? why oh, yeah, sure. When I got a business, when I got my business, answer to a man for like, you know, I'm trying to get to know you. And we talking about spending the rest of our life together. I'm not interviewing you like you at a job, but it's like you take offense to it because, like, bitch, if you just answer the question, it wouldn't be that hard. What what do women really bring to I ain't gonna even say women. I need a woman's perspective. What Detroit is <laughs> <laughs> What so go, yeah, so go ahead and ask your question, Jones. Like what are you really trying to to gather? Like what like what are you really asking? Like what Why what? why Do they take offense? Okay, so what what was the question? What was the question posed in the group? What did Hollis ask? Hollis, what did you ask? Us? Oh, I, I, basically, I just asked what what were their thoughts on that particular question? And how do they feel about it? Like, what what what's their typical response when somebody asks them that question? I'm gonna say this: I feel like women don't know probably the right words or how to quantify what they bring to the table. So they probably can't answer. And then when they can't answer, they just, I feel like they might automatically get defensive and not give an answer because they don't know how to put it in words. And they just, they ignorance, they just get defensive because they ignorant. It doesn't make any sense. It's like you bring something to the table, but you don't know how to say it. Like you might bring compassion or you might bring uh, peace because men love peace. Bring that shit, goddamn it. But, uh, for sure. She probably don't know how to say what she actually brings to the table, or she probably don't know her value because the man probably ain't even told her like what her value is to him. So like, if you were a girl for like two years and you never told her like the things you do X Y Z brings value to me, she might not never know. So I feel like to in their defense, it's almost kind of unfair to ask them what they bring to the table because you haven't told them. Like women know what men bring to the table because it's it's seeable, it's tangible. Like they can feel it. But like if we never tell them what they bring to the table, they they might not know, and they just gonna be defensive. I ain't trying to go on the whole side, but shit, they slightly I, got a point. I, I agree, like <laughs> pretty much with what Jones said. Like I don't, cause like I can understand. This is how I want to say this. Like. Like how he said, because I, I definitely agree with this notion. Like if we uh, if we could just sit down and actually understand that men see shit as far as life different than how women see it, and women see shit as far as life different than how men see it, we can stop this whole little you know fighting back and forth of a lot of shit. Because like you gotta look at it, like we get we get upset when the opposite sex or who, whichever you decide to date don't look at shit the same way we do. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, why the fuck you don't understand, like, where I'm coming from type shit? Because they look at shit, you know what I'm saying, on a whole different spectrum. And I definitely agree with the notion, oh, yeah, like, sure. I can understand why it comes off as offensive because, you know what I'm saying, you got to look at it from the perspective of, like, you know what I'm saying, when you dating somebody or, you know what I'm saying, you in that type of stage, like, you learn that person through, you know what I'm saying, the time spent with that person to understand what it is that, you know what I'm saying, you can tell what somebody provides for you. Just by being with that person, you know what I'm saying? So, like, when you get into the the whole space of asking somebody, like, well, what is it that you bring to the table type shit, like, I can see them taking offense to it because in their thought process, like how he just said, like, a women, gonna, women will see that shit from the gate, you know what I'm saying? Or the time spent, like, they see that through you as your actions as a man and shit like that. Like, so I can understand why they would take offense because they're showing you who they are for you. And this whole time, like, for you to ask them, like, what is it that you bring to the table? They gonna look at it like, well, you ain't been paying attention to me, or you know what I'm saying, like, have you not been trying to like actually like gather the information you need in the time spent? You know what I'm saying, like, and I don't think that's something you should just ask somebody from out the gate too. You know what I'm saying, like, the first thing you, cause 
you you haven't even set the stage of, you know what I'm saying, what it is you're looking for or, you know what I'm saying, what you consider it to be when initially talking to somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, communication shit is key, you feel me? So, that's how I look at it. I, I can understand why they take offense to that shit. Like, but I, I understand where, where a man is coming from, but, you know what I'm saying, like, Let you got to get to that, you know what I'm saying? You, you learn it through experience and, you know what I'm saying, being around that person. So Let me chime in. That question, only, so that that question should only be That's asked chorus. when somebody is demanding, like let's say for a female or a male is demanding something of somebody. That's when that question should be asked. What do you bring in since you demanded such and such, such and such? Now, if you are already dating somebody, that's different. You are gonna see what they bring to the table. If you like that person, of course you gonna keep them around. So that, that that don't even matter. So it's like only when somebody say, "Hey, I only want somebody six feet tall." Uh, hundred thousand uh cars, all this shit, or even if a nigga say I want a bad bitch, it work out, blah blah blah, no kids. Like you still gotta ask yourself, what do you bring to the table to even get that? So that's when that question should be asked. And I understand that like women get flabbergasted <laughs> when you say those words, cause words have meanings, yeah. and even to them, they will twist the whole word at its own definition <laughs> to fit their point. So it's like. <laughs> That you can't ask that question without triggering them. So it's like you got to figure out a different way to ask them, <laughs> just for them to so, understand it in a different way. I, can, can I chime in real oh, quick ahead, before go you go? go uh, I'm gonna I'm throw it back to you guys because I uh, I listen to you guys and um, I kind of bring it back to Jones' uh, ultimate point, and I also kind of tied it in with something Corin told me a long time ago. I don't know if he still sticks by it, but he told me that naturally all women are stupid. Uh, I don't think he meant that in a literal sense. He's pretty much talking about the lack of common sense and it's the lack of, how it's the lack of logic. That's all. Right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. Lack of common sense. And, I disagree, but go ahead, bro. And the lack of logic at certain times because women are emotional creatures and they pretty much act and think on emotion. If one plus one equal cat, let it be cat. But um, real quick, let me throw it back to you. So let's say, for instance, we're asking this particular question, how to to a particular woman. Would you believe that a woman of confidence, a woman that um, knows her worth, uh, knows her value, We'll be able to handle a question as such, opposed to, um, let's just say, our basic female that is thinking illogically, uh, doesn't think logically, um, does think um, without a certain level of common sense, and doesn't know how to articulate herself in such a manner to where she becomes, as Jones said, defensive, uncomfortable, uh, and really looking to attack more than submit. To what she's really feeling So what is your perspective on that Holland, Hollis as it refers to that I, I guess it really de- Oh go ahead my bad go I ahead. didn't mean to cut you off bro Go ahead go ahead I But, was, I was but no nah, I was about to say man I guess it really just depends on um, Like how How the subject is even uh, Being delivered Now you can You can pretty much tell if somebody is asking a question Out of spite or out of entitlement so if 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 like let's say the guy asks that question and it kind of oozes that type of energy, of course any woman is going to take offense. Right. She's gonna she's gonna think about okay, what kind of audacity do you, do you have? Like what 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 gives you the right to even ask me that type of question? Like what who are you to even ask me that with, with that type of demeanor? As, 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 in a sense, to them, that type of question would be the same as a woman asking a guy, how much money do you make? Hey, hey real quick, Hollis, can I play a little devil's advocate here? Yeah, go ahead. Let's put uh, somebody well-rounded, somebody that clearly knows a breadwinner, the type of guy that is clear that that type of guy Jones is talking about that, as he says, men knows – and bring those tangible assets to the table, such as clearly waking up at 6 or 7 in the morning, clearly coming back at 5, 6, 7 at night, working, punching the clock, doing those things, being the breadwinner. Like, let's say, for, hypothetically speaking, 
that you have that guy, that hard worker, that uh, breadwinner, so to say. And mm-hmm. let's say that they come and ask that question Ooh, to a particular woman and they damn. feel confident in knowing <laughs> that they um, are doing all of those things that they should be doing. How would you feel that the woman should react then? And what would what should that response be in your opinion? Again, how is he presenting the question? Because if you got a guy that's working hard and busting his ass, but he feels like he's entitled to certain shit, and he presents that question in such a way, she's gonna take she's gonna take offense. But if he asks it in like kind of like a chill way, which I mean I don't even ask the question myself, I kind of know how to screen women out for what I want, regardless of not even asking that question. But if he asks it in, in more more of a curious curiosity type of mind state, then she'll probably be more open to answering that question. But what scenario would that ever even come up where you were asked it? What what do you bring to the table? Yeah. Ah, uh, <laughs> what's the name? But that's that's hard for me to answer because I, I don't I I don't ask. Because you the question. table. Why? That's why it's hard for you to ask that question. No, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm the table. Like, like ask somebody. The, bro, I'm just a, that nigga I'm just a paper towel. <laughs> he uh, the foundation. I'm the I'm the napkin. This is it. It's a Sorry. little tablecloth. <laughs> Do you know how I feel to have no nappy? So you gotta wipe your shit on your pants. I'm the, I'm the plastic you tell me. Uh, <laughs> nigga, you are important. <laughs> I'm the plastic you tell me. You can do without me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, I mean, my guess would be, bro, if I were to to guess when that question would come up. I mean. Again, Man, on, kinda, like, only when they demanded something. That's the only time I can ever see that question even coming. I'm gonna say this: I feel like it'll come yeah. up mentally too. So let's just say, oh, it's always gonna be there mentally. <laughs> like, like let's just say you, you and this young lady having a bad time, and be like, you know what? I'm thinking about leaving this motherfucker. Then you think, okay, what do she bring to the table? Pros and cons. And what do well, what does she bring to the table that's unique to what a, another person can't bring to the table that I can do without? Okay, but then, but see, then you can look at, like, that question alone only comes up in situations that you look at in a negative light. Like, like you just said, you know what I'm saying? If, okay. y'all going, if y'all going through a rocky time or some shit like that, or you know what I'm saying, shit just ain't, ain't working right, you're going to step back and be like, okay, what does she bring to the table? I mean, you can say the same thing about her, though. She's going to ask the same thing in her head, you know what I'm saying? It's a mental state. So I don't think, in that instance, necessarily it's a man or a woman thing. But also, like like how Corin alluded to earlier, like if you, I guess if you want to say saying out of spite, or if you if if a chick is you know what I'm saying saying like okay I only want X Y and Z, like that's the only man that I want. Okay, then you ask her, well, what do you bring to the table, or what is it that you bring that you feel so entitled to everything that you listen? That's not necessarily a positive light, you know what I'm saying? That's still a negative light, so. I can understand why if shit all roses and daffodils and you just ask that question out of nowhere. <laughs> hell, shit, if, 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 if I'm a... Daffodil? It's a Milligan size. What? Shit, what? If, as a dude, <clears throat> as, shit, as, as a man, you know what I'm saying? If a chick asks me that shit, hell, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'll be able to explain myself but at the same time, I'm like, the fuck we been doing this whole time? Like, you just been looking at me like, have I not shown, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying, that's a whole different conversation in itself, because then, you know, uh, there's other things that can fall from there, but... <laughs> but, but regardless of whether the woman answers that question, though, my my thing is, a woman, anybody can say some shit and make it sound good. So, let's say she answers the question. That's true. And says everything that you want to hear, but it ends up being total bullshit on down the line. Then what? Like, it didn't really... Accomplish anything, so yeah. That's, I yeah, guess yeah. for me. <clears throat> oh, go ahead, go ahead. My bad, my bad. Go ahead. I guess for me personally, I pay more so attention to what she does exactly. Yep. Versus what she says. That's what I'm saying. Like the power that, of discernment, and that's that's yeah. That's, to me, that's the woman's perspective too. Like, you know, what I'm saying that's what I was saying earlier. Like, she looking at it like. I'll see what you bring to the table as a man because you are showing me that. You know what I'm saying? 
especially shit going well, it's supposed to be vice versa. You supposed to be able to look at her and see what she brings to the table. You know what I'm saying? In that process, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's from a you know, being able to experience and be around that person to understand, like, okay, cool, this is what she provides for me. You know what I'm saying? Peace, compassion. You know what I'm saying? See somebody out a safe space. You feel me? Like, you supposed to be already peeped that out through her actions. You know what I'm saying? That ain't something you just it's a Sunday morning and you just wake up and like, so what the fuck you bring to the table? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said. It's, it, it's not, <laughs> it's not supposed to be that way. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I'm going to chime in quickly. DJ Hey Weezy from the 601. <laughs> reporting from Cleveland. Like, yo, you know what's up. <laughs> what up, though? Hey, real quick. Um, I kind of agree with the fellas here. <laughs> I agree with the fellas here. Um, I will play... Uh, I'm not going to say devil's advocate here, but I'm going to uh, just bring a little bit more, more perspective to this light. Um, I do agree with you guys in general. It, it it really can't be seen as anything positive. But I will say this. If you ask that question in the beginning stages of getting to know someone, I wouldn't necessarily say you would ask that, but you're kind of pretty much trying to figure out <laughs> what that person is or what that uh, person potentially can do. But if you ever ask that question... You're pretty much asking that question for validation or you never knew what they brought to the table because you couldn't clearly see it. So you're clearly having a reason to ask that question. So in turn, that can never be a good sign. Yeah, because, I mean, if you got to ask that shit. <laughs> that's never good. Yeah, it's never that's good. Not good. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's. Again, I said it, it only comes up. Yeah. When you're demanding something. So the question is, who would yeah. ask that question, women or men? Like, what percentage? You feel like. And then. Okay, come on, Jay. Go ahead. I'll just ask him. Like, I feel like I. That's definitely that's a, tough. Like, I think, about a, I think that's mid- a ninety ten question. Like I don't, I, I can't really <laughs> call any dudes ever asking it. Uh, you definitely have a bunch of spiteful women. Uh, and you <laughs> we, definitely we, have. We thinking we want not ever ask that question, but as we weed through the people or potential mates and future partners, we automatically subconsciously saying, "What do they bring?" That this other chick don't do it, I, so right, we right. automatically <laughs> do it. I so think, I, will, uh, of course. I, I, I take and that I, back. I, I think I take anybody should take that. Right, I, I, I take that a stretch further. I think men in general are always subconsciously asking that question. <laughs> Hit why <laughs> men always cheat. Like, hey, look, you can have the perfect <laughs> wife. You can have the perfect <laughs> wife, but you, but look, you might meet Rosie that probably suck you up better than. I'm talking about a can of chunky noodle soup. I'm talking about you don't want to hear her up. Like she can simply do something that your woman cannot do. And uh, just a fun fact, guys, I always take that back to uh, (laughs) that men were kings and queens at one. uh, Men and women were kings and queens at one point. And if you ever knew a king. He had concubines. And what were those concubines? <laughs> they were an arrangement of different style of women. Some short, some tall, some slim, some thick, some uh, this race of that race. And do you know what their purpose was? <laughs> <laughs> Learn me something. That king. They get a little taste. They're going to label Weezy misogynistic. <laughs> Uh, like imagine, imagine if you say get twelve, married. fourteen BC. Right. <laughs> Look, imagine if you were a man right now today, and you can marry your perfect woman, but you knew that you could automatically keep nine side chicks specifically for you. Like I'm talking about this. This one chick might have a stupid big Stop booty. The table. This other chick might have some dumb big titty. This other chick might have both. This other chick might be red bone but slim thick. Uh, I don't know. You might have a dark skin chocolate chick that's slim thick. You gonna have something for? You gonna have a different ice cream flavor for every event. That's what's in men's blood. But let's get back to the main point. That uh. If you have to ask that question, it's probably not good to start with. Um, let's get back. And, you know, I kind of put that. I kind of put that question in the same category as asking a girl what type of man you look. Like, why? Why would you? I don't see a reason why somebody would ask that. 
He hoes don't know what they want to eat. They know they don't know what type of man they looking for. Damn, they. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Just> all about. <laughs> they, they're all women, bro. All women. So he said they all stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they all stupid. Just most of them. No, man. <laughs> So okay, I know I know this ain't spicy. Let's get into it. I know this ain't spicy. You know what I'm saying? Let's this ain't play. this ain't this ain't clickbait. Nothing like that. You know, you know, you but get pancakes you, man. and they do powdered sugar on top of it. It's sprinkled <laughs> on there. <laughs> but the most of them, the most of them is stupid. Oh man! All right, let's let's get into it. Well, why do y'all think most women are stupid? I don't agree with that, but I ain't got no answer. I, 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 don't, I don't agree either. So you don't think but hold on, most hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's define stupid. Let's so, define most too. Yeah. <laughs> most <laughs> means the majority. Yeah, majority. We're we gonna start That's with like ninety. We're we gonna start with stupid. The large number, my brother. So 96. my so my definition of stupid is one who lacks common sense and does not try to find the answer and have the, all <clears> the resources <throat> to do it. Therefore, in my mind, that makes you stupid. <laughs> So you can be extremely book smart. I'm talking about straight A valedictorian, goddamn running some type of company, and still let a nigga fuck you over and fuck you up. <laughs> That's what I call it, stupid. Hey, <laughs> so, but to, but to, but to okay. say okay, so. To say that's, that's only a certain demographic too, though. Bro. It, it is but, okay, but to say most women are stupid is to say most men are smart. Or or no, or have no, common sense. No, the average person in my eyes is stupid in general. So, I mean, <laughs> it's just, it just happened to be more women than men. So, so, hey, hey, based on Corman's logic, it's just simply more women oh, in the world yeah. than men. Exactly. So, quite honestly, it just. It just has to apply more right. to the women just because of the. I, I uh, think, it's a bunch of I think we're at a five to one. <laughs> right there, Jones. Oh. Hey, we are there a five to one ratio now. It used to be three it's, to one. It went up to four to one. Now we're at five to one. Let, let, let's be real. How many smart people versus how many people who not smart? Let's be real. Hey, oh, hey. Hey, that's, hey, look. But if, how many if, people do you know? You can't fathom how many people you actually know. <laughs> but you know like, a lot of people. No, but you don't hey, actually. Man, you you cannot people. fathom the how, how many people are on this on this earth. You only see what's outside of you. I'm like about American culture, because where I live. I ain't talking. About I mean, but that's still a lot of people. That's still a we lot. We okay. people. But we're not gonna get that deep because that's pretty deep say, there. But hey, I'm just saying, though, like we you said. I want to get back to Corwin. We can get back to that real quick. I want to get back to Corwin because. uh for a long time and still to a certain extent, I've always agreed with Corwin on that logic. Uh uh, but I kinda kinda twisted it into my own perspective. Um uh, I kinda definitely use that common sense and uh the um the lack of logic and also the um the inability to not make rash decisions <laughs> based on emotions. Um some of that can be st- statistically proven in certain cases um as far as um things such as driving for a small sample it's been a common proven fact that men are just simply better drivers than women which is um, more careless um yeah. just careless you can actually <laughs> drive which is careless it's a lot of reckless niggas <laughs> out here though oh yeah, that's, that's what our question is that's what our question is statistically though sure women get some more but, but everybody in here that been in a car with a I female can, and they done scared <laughs> the living shit out of you I can assure you oh, yeah. if, so, if you're riding right. out of jail oh, you're more than one I don't disagree I don't disagree I don't disagree I don't disagree with nothing that was just said about driving I'm sure Arthur can agree with this at all when I'm riding down the street if I see a pothole I'm either finessing over it or riding strictly around it. If it's a woman driving, she driving strictly over that bit. <laughs> blue, blue, blue. And not give a damn. <laughs> what you say? Hey, 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 to a certain extent, <laughs> I always agree with Corwin to a certain extent. Um, I definitely do agree with Hollis. I definitely don't think that it applies to all women because I have met it, it's been few far between but uh I have met some intelligent women and they have been extremely um logical and have some common sense I'll even um give a shout out to my guy Detroit I think he has um uh, an amazing wife and um 
I think that she is uh, one of those logical thinkers that kind of, if you can say, uh, opposite attracts, so to say. Um, <laughs> I've always said that my buddy Detroit likes a kind of kind of a bit of common sense, and Aisha has been a perfect pair with him because she has a lot of common sense. Um, so there's been a few exceptions to the rule, but there has been a few far and between. The exception proves the rule. <laughs> so um, I want to know what my guy Jones thinks about that, as it refers to women and. Um, their illogical mindsets and what he thinks about Corrin's comments about um, not only most people being stupid, but they're applying to women as well as a majority. Honestly, I don't want to put the blame on nobody but the women, but society do play a factor. (laughs) (laughs) Society play a factor because like, I feel like society coddles women. Like, so they allowed to be, Stupid with with no re- repercussion. <laughs> we do some stupid shit. It's 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 gonna be repercussions. Simple as that. So and read that. Okay, in society, I'm talking about like social media. Just <clears throat> society in general. So a woman can. Well, it only applies to some women. It really do because if they just butt ass ugly, then. <laughs> nigga rules apply to ugly There's ass no women. Thing is ugly. I agree. <laughs> the <laughs> cap on this uh, podcast they just, they just unattractive to you. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna if, lie. I had this quickly, Jones. I had this discussion earlier with my <coughs> uh, my brothers, and I was like, "Man, it was this fat, <laughs> sloppy, bald head chick in my survey class the past <laughs> couple of days." But she has she has three kids, so I had to think to myself, like, "Bruh." <laughs> Somebody <laughs> wanted to stay in Shooting three up the times. Club. Shooting up the club. Hey, but look, that means like I mean, because it's attractive. a lot of ugly guys that too. Means she's like I mean, I can't speak on to somebody because ugly I mean, don't apply the same as to guys as to women. But but, that, but you that's still a, that's have, a, like you said, it's a, uh, a society have, thing. It's a society thing. So like if it's a uh, beauty is an eye beholder, like you like if you think a guy is a, a normally general handsome guy, you still have those guys that's undeniably just like you. Hey, dude, you ugly as hell. <laughs> but hey, you cool. But, hey, you ugly. Well, but, let, mean, well, but let's talk. But okay. those kind of guys might not have those same opportunities as a as a normally handsome guy. We, I mean, you know. Just in general, so he will have to smash the uh, bottom of the barrel type <laughs> chicks in the eye of the beholder. But continue, John. <laughs> but it's, it's oh, like, yeah. oh, man. and it, this is kind of a scritch, but like, girls don't. If a girl is ugly, and when I say ugly, meaning like for the, for like. Six out of ten people think this person is unattractive. I deem her ugly. Six out of ten. <laughs> so if six out of ten people think she's unattractive, <laughs> her opportunities decrease significantly. <laughs> but then, but the majority. That's but all. those, but those four people would want to smash. Hey, but it's hey, that's a beautiful. But that's not. That's not most though. And one, but, but look, and one of them at the club, huh? But that, yeah, that ain't that much more hey, to have. That's beautiful. Ooh. This is actually beautiful. I think we made a breakthrough here. We should uh that, that kind of coin this have. because if you get the rating system, if you are ten in your particular ratings, that means ten out of ten would want to smash. But if you like a nine or if you like a a seven. That means if you flip it on the opposite spectrum, that percentage would want to smash. And, and, and the chances of you meeting that percentage of the person that want to smash is pretty high. Because somebody <laughs> going to want to smash. And then you got to factor in those instant every things like, hey, you could be a, a four. We don't put you value in smashing. But look, ah. Oh, so it's the difference. So the rating system opposed to like being a potential is different from the rating system as opposed to if you would it's smash. A little bit different. It's a little bit different. It's definitely different. <laughs> okay, so yeah, because you could be a... a I would not be, a, be seen in public with a five, but I'll fuck a five. Right, oh, so right, so you'll see a four in the face. <laughs> I'll be seen in public with five. Five is average. So you can rate a chick a four five on the scale Your girl? for being ugly. You gonna marry a five? No, I did. No, no, a hell of a personality. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't I couldn't smash somebody I couldn't be out in public with, bro. 
So so Hollis, let me ask you this: If you if, if you rated a girl I'm not wrong with it. a four <clears throat> in the face or a five in the face, but she had an extremely nice rounded booty and some <laughs> how right go up? I'm talking about a, some, some extremely huge tits. <laughs> He's going to find a different way to say tits, bro. That shit be killing me, dog. That nigga funny as hell. A huge bosom. I ain't going to lie to you. Big noodle knock. Noodle knock bosom. That's a funny word. So I'm, I, I I could go around and ask when well, we got five guys in this room and one guy on the phone. If she had a five in the face, but had ten, I'm talking about perfect ten in assets. <laughs> are yeah. you going to smash a rating? What you got to think about? A five okay. is average, you guys. A five but, is but average. A rating, but when you write someone, you write their their the whole person. So like. This what I do. I got I got a half a half rating system. It's it's kind of weird. I don't mm-hmm. rate. So if I if let's just me neither. I don't let's just it. use let's just use this a rock bottle. We're gonna pretend like this a girl. The face, I do a I do half and half. One to five, one to five. So like if I see a girl and her body a zero. <laughs> but her, but but she got a but she got a pretty face and she a foe. She she a foe. What a zero look like? Her body. Uh-huh. Oh, Ooh, shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a knife. What I, what I think about is it, 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 like when girls oh, get that shit. diaper booty type the sheet with jeans. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's I've zero. seen some beautiful. I've seen some beautiful women booties in the face. In the face, like they they are not ugly. The face card is is decent, but the body card trash. So thus. You can't give that person an eight when they body is 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 a zero. So and I I'm not gonna bring up no names at all. <laughs> no, nah, because we're not doing that. <laughs> but uh, we're not uh, we're not on the like, live podcast right now, so uh we are doing that. Uh, go ahead, <laughs> Let, Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's use somebody. I'm I'm gonna say the initials. Everybody we went to, we went to school with this person. Her face wasn't oh. horrible. Her face wasn't horrible. Last name was Yes. Okay. Uh, and, and a... And oh. a <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but she didn't have yeah, a bad face, so but if you was to rate her body on a legit scale, it would be Probably a two. One. I, say, I say two because of the tits. Because of the tits. Pie. Two. Oh man, I, I, I said if you give somebody a two, you may as well give them one. Bro. No, no, there's this two out of five. Two out of five. Oh, two out of five. Okay. Like, okay, let's get this person a rating on the face, on a, on a scale of one to five. That face was a two point five. It wasn't bad. It was it was halfway decent. You t- <clears throat> add that two point five plus that two with the body, she is a four point five. I, I'm a, I mean, that's Ooh. Yeah. Hey. That's tough. Would I hit? Yeah. Wow. Dang, that boosts up to a 4.5 of them? Out of 5? No, no, out of 10. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, so we I'm, I'm, okay. add, I'm adding this. Doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing half and half. I'm doing body, 1 through 5, <laughs> face, hey, 1 through 5, and then add them together. Jones. That means you uh, still okay. smash somebody extremely low. That means a b- below the average. I wouldn't. I wouldn't smash on my scale. I wouldn't smash nobody under a four. I, I mean, that's a number forty five, fifty five. I'm just putting. I'm just putting the face and the ass and adding it up together. So I mean, let's hi- do a hypothetical here. Then let's just say that they are whatever. On the one on your scale of one to five on the face, but they automatically just a five at the bottom. Oh right, right. Okay, so to me, if they get the full five for assets on your scale, that means you they automatically, automatically a five. They automatically five. Yeah, they mean they automatically they automatically go past your rate unless <laughs> they face is a zero. If oh, no, 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 no,
Uh, excuse that brother. Hit that laugh button. Hell, <laughs> easy. That's that. Oh, this cheer. That's the wrong way, that is. Hey, hey, thank you, that audience. Hey, real quick. So, if you would smash for a, if you would smash, and, and, and you get M I, and her combined total score is a four point five. Why wouldn't someone that's a zero in the face and gets the full five for assets? She's the average. I'm gonna say this. That means she should. She should. This, also this be the question she asked she me. Can. If if the per, if they body is ten ten, like they they body is perfect. Yeah, I made five. Yeah, she I made five. I feel oh. like I feel like that face card can go negative. If their face card is a negative. Like if she looks like Corwin in the face, <laughs> and I'm not saying Corwin ugly, because he he's a good looking young man. But as a woman, would no, I date that nigga? Like Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, what I'm saying is, she could be a fine, yeah. but if she look if she look like Mr. She got Ed, manly <laughs> she, mark. No, that means that's a negative. That's a question. The scale don't point. stop at zero. She can go below zero. Oh. Damn. So, so, so if she a one in the face but a five body, that means she automatically. Oh above yeah, she average. she getting fucked. She automatically above average. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she coming in. Oh like that. man. <laughs> but okay, Ain't does no it work? Though, was it work the other way around though? If if her face is a a five and, and her body a one, does it work the other way around? That's why I asked what a zero is. Cause I got a def- bunch of different definitions of what a zero body would look like, <laughs> or, 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 or or just a big mass of mass. Yeah. Like <laughs> me, that's a zero as well. I know what he like. Describe the sun. <laughs> and he describe the whole sun out here. I know it's your super. Yeah. <laughs> she, could be, she could be skinny with nothing at all. Five she could time, be wide as a moon. Goddamn it! But you know, I rather take skinny. Ooh, black hole. Ooh, we. So, uh, it, here's the thing. Yeah, yeah. I'll have, 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 I'm gonna cut that out. Re- regardless of what it is, you, get, you just got to have shape. That's it. So the shape is what's going not. SpongeBob is the shape. Yeah, but you get your rating based on that shape. So if you a slim thick chick, you will get your in Jones rating your two point five or your three. But if you uh, oh no, I like if you a, I'm talking about gun thick chick. You know, I'm talking about. I, I can rate a slim, a thick chick and a fat ass chick a five at the body. But Cora, you still have your disproportionate chick. You got your chicks that have a stupid fat ass and an A cup. But then you got your chicks that got ch- double D's and a <laughs> dumb flat ass. I'm talking about <laughs> pancake flat. I'm talking about straight mailbox on the side of the road. <laughs> 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 Shit, probably, probably flatter than the hill. She but throwing that ass in a triangle. <laughs> yeah. Throw that ass in an envelope. That shit's so flat. A <laughs> million ass up out of here. Yeah. Five still didn't deliver, huh? Right, so Priority. those type of The real question like, is are you going to lick the stamp? Ugh, you know. Oh. But I ain't gonna lie to you, the disproportionate chick with the fat ass gonna get a higher rate than the disproportionate chick with the big titties and no ass. Cause I don't care what you say. So question, do men when we rating women, do we value body more than face? Okay, <sighs> it's like tip for tat to me, but it faces a slightly higher. I think they. I think I'm gonna kinda, say this. It's slightly higher when it comes to cuffing, but if it come to smashing, the body would be slightly higher for me. Right. Oh right. uh, yeah, niggas know it's a Because then it's physical. Yeah, yeah. A, a, a cuffing is is emotional and you know real talk. Mental. So it's like, I it's think about this. Like if I'm if I'm finna cuff somebody, if I'm finna marry this person, I'm much and, and we finna take wedding pictures. I much rather see your face than your ass. So. <laughs> All the listeners out there. Way, it's a simple way to put it. Yeah, I mean, because I mean, who who at wedding is gonna capture the assets of this person's ass in, in in the wedding? You know what I'm saying? Like, you finna wear a slim fit ass dress, nah, bitch. You need that bitch. So shit. let me ask you a question, then Jones, on your scale. So based on your scale, there, fella, you had a. Uh, so that mean if that particular woman was a two in the face, but a five. In the assets, and she totaled out to be a seven, 
or 2.5 in the face. And let's give her a little higher rating there. And a five in assets. That means you wouldn't particularly <laughs> marry this girl um, based on the face? or I'm going to say this. this. Then it will go to all the other things. <laughs> uh, to be real. Because, like, depending on if it's a 2.5... Yeah, I, That's okay enough for you to marry yeah, if she got the other assets yeah. that got a couple of mentions. I'm like, anyway, I'm, but, that personality got to be glowing. If the face, <laughs> 2.5 out of 5, not out of 10. Uh, the personality got to be glowing. I'm talking about like the lights behind is glowing. So, so, I, I'm, I'm so I got a standard. Like, so my thing is if I'm going to we'll marry somebody. When I wake up in the morning and I roll over and look at you, Ooh, are you cute still? So oh, that's, 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 that's how I'm totally gonna, that's how I'm gonna ultimately decide <laughs> who I marry is if I can look at them. Man, if their body is a plus, you know, they got a bang in their body, that's a plus. But I'm gonna be looking at your face more than any goddamn thing else. So it's like Okay, so let's play a little bit of uh devil. No, devil no, 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 no. I'm gonna take it to the extreme author. Don't worry, give me some time. <laughs> no. <laughs> Real quick, we're gonna stay on Jones scale because that's the uh, scale we're gonna use for the day. Um, it won't be everybody's scale, but that's the scale we're gonna use for this particular topic. Um, so based on uh, Jones scale, playing a little devil, devil's advocate here, she could be a complete five in the first category in her ratings of first of uh, facial features. And she can be a complete zero. In the other category, I'm talking a cardboard box here. No ass, no knocks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking stiff as a box, but she can be as beautiful as Halle Berry or the Stacey Dash or whoever you want to. Put in that particular category is you're a beautiful woman, Beyonce. I or colorism to me, but that's neither here nor there. So is that true there, Corbin? Wow, 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 let's, ask, wow. let's play the devil's advocate here. Can she be a complete five <laughs> on that facial asset feature and be a complete zero as far as assets and you will still be willing to roll over and see your beautiful wife <laughs> and still know that once you get a little excited, uh, it'll be a bummer there. Go ahead. No. <laughs> five on the water. And, and all you had to do was go back to what I said earlier. I value face is almost tit for tat, but I value face slightly higher. So there's no way in hell. <laughs> if you got a five in the face, and I, I still got to look at your body, you still got to get up from the bed, go to the bathroom. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> so, <laughs> so to answer your question, no. <laughs> I think you were talking about in terms of like it being one, a scale of one to five. I know. Like she's a five. Yeah, I know. Five. That's, that's what he is. Oh, okay. Five in the face, but a zero body. I know exactly what he's saying. Lord. Like he built like a little boy. I'm not attracted to supermodels. What a. No, mind. <laughs> I know what you attracted to. Who is supermodel I'm attracted to? Uh, she probably just a. Uh, oh, oh, say less. <laughs> I know that that's more of a pride thing there, <laughs> more than anything. But hey. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is fun. She get wicked. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Say less. I need to take a smoke break. I, ain't gonna lie. I just know it just. Hey, we'll take us to break. We're here at the break here. Now sponsoring Tap In Reviews. We're only going to sponsor those who pay us. And we're only going to talk about black-owned businesses from here on now. Tap In Reviews. Get your Ciroc Limited Edition pomegranate there. <laughs> and get your review on it as well. We're going to get back to uh, Hollis here. And he's going to... Uh, Give us some of his thoughts on some of the topics to- discussed today. And he's going to give us uh, more topics to discuss because we have some uh, other things that we want to hash out there. Uh, Malik, were you good? or I know you said that you were pretty much chilling. He was going to take a smoke break. Yeah, I finished my side for six. So y'all can do y'all thing. Uh, we'll be back. We'll be back. 